shots, drinks, dead. Yeah, we really need to panel something. Hey guys, I'm Adam Haig from 3D Games, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Woodland Scenics Rock Mold. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to see more of my content. Cheers. In this video, I'll be using the basic rock mold. It's a good idea to use a container full of sand which allows you to position the mold. Press the mold down into the sand until it is firm and stable. I used some cheap casting plaster from the hardware store which requires 1.2 litres of water to 2 kilograms of plaster. After doing some simple math, I ended up using 300 mils of water with 500 grams of plaster. I ran the plaster through a sieve to avoid lumps and because it feels so satisfying. Give it a quick mix and make sure to break up any lumps. Once it has the consistency of a thick shake, you're ready to go. Mix a couple of drops of dishwashing detergent with water and spray this onto the mould. This should make it easier to remove once the plaster sets. Go ahead and pour the plaster into your mould. I like to then work my paintbrush into all the nooks and crannies to make sure that there are no air bubbles. I still had some plaster left over, so I went ahead and filled my mould right to the very top. I then wanted to clean up the top, so I used a spatula just to smooth things out a little bit. It's a good idea to clean all of your gear while things are still damp, and I recommend doing it outside so you don't wreck your pipes. You should be able to remove your cast after 2-3 to three hours. I left this one overnight because of its size, and I wasn't in a rush. Carefully pop out the rocks by bending the mould and pushing from underneath. You do have to be careful because the skinny ones can break easily. The big ones can take some effort to get out. Just work through it and you'll eventually get there. And there it is, a perfect rock for your scenery. I like to make a whole lot so that I always have rocks on hand when I want to use them. So, as you can see, I've incorporated the rock that I cast into this larger cliff face, uh, which is going to be part of a larger game board that I'm currently constructing. So keep watching this space, I aim to release a video tutorial of how I make a big epic game board uh, that's going to be coming soon. And um, thanks for watching, please if I have missed anything, or if you've got any extra tips, leave a comment below. It helps me and it helps our hobby community in general. So um, thanks guys, good hobbying. <laughs>